Crackberry.com. Hey everyone, DJ here for Crackberry.com, and we're going to take a hands-on look at Snap to Chat, uh, the third-party Snap. Snapchat app that finally made its way to Blackberry World. Um, I've got it loaded up on one of these devices on, and on the other one is the Android port. Um, you can see for the for the most part when you take a snap um, it's kind of the same layout. One of them just has this um, plus icon which allows you to um, send a previously uh, taken picture as a snap and that of course is Snap to Chat. So I've got Snap to Chat on this Q10 and here on the Z30 is the Android port and you'll see that occasionally you'll get this pop-up right here um, telling you you need uh, Google Play services so that gets annoying as well um, but taking a snap is the same just uh, with that same here um, and there you go uh, now when uh, before you send a snap you can edit it um, and do all sorts of things um, but you see again it's quite similar uh, you have a caption here on the snap to chat version which whoops, you can uh, move around which I seem to have lost there we go um, you don't have that on here but you for the most part you can see the layout is the same you've got the timer here so you can choose between uh, one second to ten seconds for your recipient to be able to view the picture uh, you can save it, that allows you to save it. This one adds it to story, um, works the same here. You can create a story from your snaps, um, but on Snapchat you also have the ability to add uh, Blackberry 10 emoticons. Um, you can also doodle on both of them if you wanted to. Back out of that. Um, but we'll just leave that um, for now and kind of focus on Snapchat. Let's move on from here. Uh, so you can add a. Oops, spell that right. Um, caption, like I said, and you can move it around um, as well. Uh, and then there's these three uh, dots here that you can tap, and that allows you to edit uh, the font, change a lot of the settings, uh, you know, the font, the style, the weight. Um, what you also find up here is edit in advanced media editor. Um, that basically opens up the native BlackBerry 10 uh, photo editor so you can then add filters. It's not focusing properly. Um, but you can add filters um, to it. You can see if you wanted to. Uh, now I am running the pro version of Snapchat, Snap to Chat. Um, and this is a feature available on the pro version if you have the light version that is not available to you um, but you can do these on the light version um, so to send a snap just uh, go ahead and tap that then just pick um, a contact you want to send it to and then you can see them here now this is your feeds you, you get this on the um, uh, snapchat version 2 and it's basically all your sent and received snaps. Um, you can see um, there's a nice little thing when you uh, pull down to refresh. You got a nice little touch there with the uh, Snapchat ghost. Um, these are the ones I received. Square icon, um, and it's filled in. I haven't yet uh, viewed it, so you just tap and hold, and you can view it, and then you can see the countdown in the corner for how long I've got to view. And you can also see if someone's opened up your chat here. It says sent, but it's not yet opened but I can open it up and do the same here. It works the same way, you can see the timer. And then if I refresh this, it will say that it's been opened. So you get notified when they opened it. So for the most part, that is also um, the same. But obviously being uh, BlackBerry 10, um, you have a few extra things in here. Um, you can see the tab menu uh, and the menu here, BlackBerry 10 native menu. Uh, so you've got the stories, you can jump to the stories, your friends list, friends requests. Uh, the shout box is something exclusive to shout, uh, Snap to Chat. allows you to kind of send a shout out to all your friends. And plus other Snapchat users can see this too. And you can add um, and discover uh, other Snapchat users. Uh, there's a profile section. You can uh, create a profile, which is again exclusive to Snap to Chat. And then this is just your shortcut to take a snap. Uh, shortcut to your 
friends, and a shortcut to your stories. Uh, this icon up here also jumps into taking a picture. Some settings here, um, Snapchat ones and advanced ones. Again, these um, are not all going to be visible in um, the light version. Uh, you can't auto load snaps or you can't, there's no replay feature, there's also no notifications in the light version. But basically the light version gives you the general features um, of Snapchat to be able to send and receive snaps. I um, forgot to say this also does video. Um, to do video mode, double tap, it will switch up and you get a red circle here. And just tap and hold it, keep your finger on it to be able to take a video and you can see there's a progress bar. Again, you can add a caption to that. I'm just going to turn that off because you can hear me. Uh, delete it even. Um, but that's how you toggle between taking a picture snap or a video snap. Um, right there, I'll just compare that to the um, Android one. You just tap and hold this. And then you get kind of a progress wheel going. So that's the difference. Um, with that, but I like the idea that you can double tap to switch it up. Um, so yes, that is Snap to Chat uh, for BlackBerry 10. Um, currently still on sale for 99 cents. Uh, full version is a dollar 99 if you're viewing this after the sale's over. Uh, um, like I said, available for all BlackBerry 10 devices. There is a light version if you want to check it out before jumping into the Pro version. So that is Snap to Chat for BlackBerry 10.